It'll be fine. And basically de-machine as soon as possible and go to the moon. Where are my ethers again? In shops. Silvera and a march. Life pots in Praia Cafe. Yeah, life pots are in Troya Cafe. Oh, we get starter kit spoilers. Artemis bow charm arrows. That's really good, actually. We get a free glass mask, Carrot Grimoire, and Charm Harp. That's good. I'll take it. Uh, we get one coffin. That's definitely going on Kaipo Guards. Um, tent. There's no tents for sale anywhere. Cabins are on the moon. Well, no, not necessarily tents. They could be somewhere. Okay, I think we're about to get started. I'm gonna stop looking. We know Lugged. I don't know where Mom Bomb is. I know a bunch of places where Mom Bomb is not, but I know don't know where Mom Bomb is. Right? Yeah, no, I don't know where Mom Bomb is. I know Mom Bomb is not on is not in a whole bunch of locations. I know a bunch of locations where Mom Bomb can't be, but I don't know where she is. That's great. But we're going to be dealing with Kanazo at Elements, so that's going to be fun. But yeah, it's basically D-Money ASAP. I think is going to be the key to winning this seed. Okay, 10 seconds. Three, one, could be off. I'm gonna say my Discord is lagging. Yeah, my Discord was lagging. Okay. Edward and Kane, we knew Kane. Valvalis at Bygen. Oh gosh, that's right, it's Perma Join. Edward is stuck in here. Heck. Um. Uh, I want Palum, I want Edge. I'm gonna say no to Kane. Not see by. I wanna see who's on Hobbs. If it's a white mage, I want them. Tallow, we probably want. For D machine purposes. I definitely want Palum. Palum is a. is a yes, please. Give me. Uh, Valis at Bygen is interesting. It's not like a, the worst fight. I mean, we won't be able to get there for so long that it'll be easy when I get there, but... Yeah. Why am I flying over here first? I don't have money. Forgot Permadroin and now I'm hating myself. Okay, it's fine. Um, Underground's gonna be fun. We've got Edward Kane... I mean, I'm going to try to do underground with a small party. See if I can get it going. I mean, do I have a moon veil that I can burn on Odin? I'm going to pick up my pass now, just so I don't forget it. Reassura summon. I'm going to Ludeblin Castle. That's definitely a must. Uh, trap chest, I'm not sure I care about. Heron robe is interesting. I do want a Rosa. I would absolutely take Rosa. I think. Yeah, I would absolutely take Rosa. If Rosa shows up on Hobbs. I think I saw Rosa somewhere else in the seed though, and it's not see maybe is it? Is are distinct active? I don't know. Go to Eblin Castle while I try to figure out if a distinct is active. No, there's no distincts, but there's only one dupe. And it's Cecil. The so Rosa... Yeah. Oh no. That's not correct. 
So Rosa is in Baron, so we're probably not getting Rosa. We might get... And Porum's in Giant. Ooh, that really hurts. Yeah, so we're probably not going to get to use that Heron Rope. And there's a Rydia and Zot one. Or in Zot. In general. This is rough. I know that the left chest is trapped on the in the, the like left chest in the left tower. Nothing great here, but nothing terrible here either. And it's not like awful, awful garbage that I don't care about. I know there's some good stuff here. I know there's a curse string here, which is why I'm coming here to loot. Uh, I could get a defense sword somewhere. I know there was one. Saw it. Forget where it was. That's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna say no cane. This one is safe. I think. I don't know. There's two trap chests I don't know the locations of here. That was one of them. That was one of the chests I did not know. That's one of the two trap chests I didn't know. I should have just grabbed... Oh, I should have just grabbed my hovercraft. What am I doing? I should have brought the hovercraft over here and then just done the hook dive and gotten Palum. Because I definitely do want Palum. Palum is definitely on my path to victory. So two trap chests in the left tower. Let's check the right tower. Figure out the right tower, go do hovercraft stuff, head to the underground. There's one trap chest in here, I don't know where it is. But it's not in the basement. That's the trap chest. Okay. Uh, do I really... Am I willing to commit to no cane? I have a gun near. I think I am with Primajoin. Although, I don't know when the edge weapons are going to show up ever at all. I don't know when edge weapons are going to show up, so it might be worth just taking Kane instead. I think it's going to be worth taking Kane instead. White Spear is going to swing me over towards Kane. Uh, we're gearing up for a Eddie Kane Alam Rosa Tower. It's not ideal. The White Spear Kane will get me through a lot of early stuff. I don't know where Mom Bomb is. Dull's there, though, so that's not it. I didn't know that from the spoiler log, though, so... Uh, Mist Cave is also unknown. Yeah, I think Kane is a pretty solid take. Even though we are limited in our characters. It all depends on the Hobbs character. Because I kind of want a White Mage, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get one. Other than Fu. Which is fine, I can take Fu. Fu is not a huge deal. So I definitely want Palum. We're gonna start with what I definitely want, which is Palum. Absolutely 100%, I want Palum. I know this. Because I know I'm almost certainly doing a D-Machine. Um, if I- oh, well, if I don't take Kane, I can take Rydia. I could just make Rydia Tella White Mage and have two new casters. Kane Edward Tella. A little annoying. Spoon might be worth it after all. They're selling curse strings, that's cute. Don't care. I don't know where the trap chest is in here, so I'm going to be a little careful on my looting 
Uh, trip. Perfect is good. Okay, this hook character is a Palin, which I definitely want. No way I don't want the Palin. Okay, that top one there is the monsters. Cool. Time to full clear the rest of this area. <sighs> yeah, there just wasn't enough spoiled stuff to like actually insert the looting, like the loot stuff. Like looking at loot or shops seriously, so I'm just gonna loot a bunch. And it'll be fine. Top one is bad. Don't touch the top one. There. Yeah. Anything else is fair for game. I'm getting more and more convinced that Kane might be an okay take. Definitely want Palin. Uh, I'd love to get Rydia. I mean, it's Rydia or Fu. I have a Sura. Rydia with a Sura. Or Fu. Be clear. Not like it's just Rydia. It's Rydia with Asura or Fu. I think Fu is probably the better move. But it would be so fun to slingshot two black mages on a D machine grind. Yeah, and I know I'm getting Rydia before my D machine. I don't know I'm getting Fu. It'll depend. We're gonna let Palum join. That was never up for debate at all. I think I think I let Kane join. Do I? Yeah, I think I do. I think I have to. Kane will just make the early game so much easier. I do want to do Antlion. Uh, Fabula is required, so I have to do it. Baron is only really doable. I'm doing it for the Tella. I don't care about it otherwise. I could ignore Tella, actually, for a while. That is an option. I could just ignore the Tella, because it's behind a gauntlet. And there's a Fu underground. You know? I like this plan. I like the plan, plan ignore Tella. Uh, it'll mean that... Yeah, we can take Kane then, without worrying about anything. Yeah, we're gonna take Kane over Tella. Because Kane will be useful. Kane will definitely be useful. I just need someone to do damage. Yeah, we're gonna do Palum Kane and go for Fu Rydia, I think. And then D Machine. Slingshot Rydia for sure. Um, probably get a slingshot. Try to get a slingshot on Palin if I can. Although that's probably... No, that's not a good idea with the hook route. With the hook route we've got to do, that's not a good idea. We should just slingshot Rydia. Edward is going to have to anchor eventually, but for now he's fine. We're doing ordeals first, I don't know why, because it's the one that is on a wild card, I guess. Oh, I should check Hobbs. Hobbs character is not something I factored in, and it could be a dupe. It's probably Sid or Jan, who I don't really care about at this point. But I should peek it just all the same. Can I actually fly over to the right? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Fine. 
This is gonna be a fine setup. I mean, I'd, either way, I kind of want this experience. For, because we're gonna just level these three, I think. We'll just flat out level Palin. We'll be fine. Another cane. That's okay. Uh, we're not gonna take second cane. But it confirms that that's the dupe, and I'm not gonna see duplicates of other characters, so we may as well write off having a real white mage. You know, I may as well write off having a white mage that can uh, be not- that's not Fu. So, yeah, that's really good, actually. That's really good information. I am quite happy I did that. I did this peak. Not just for the experience. Like, the experience is cool. Sure, I like the experience. That's good. I knew this was my one in Friends, but, you know. Experience is great, you know, we get a head start on leveling up, because I do need levels for this hook route. Gonna need levels for the hook route. Definitely gonna need levels for the hook route. I want to get Rydia and Fu to be my last two characters. This is a three-person hook route that'll be interesting to do. I mean, there are illusions for sale in the Eblin shop, so I can probably get through Odin. There's also a Moonvale in, uh... In Dwarf, which I might just pop in uh, Fabul, actually. Probably just go for. I mean, I've got to do Fabul anyway. Let's just clear the overworld. I'm going to do checks that i got to do anyway. The Moonvale is going to be helpful enough that I think it's worth doing before going underground. Or worth picking up before going underground. Because it's going to be helpful enough with that Odin at King Queen. Already got a coffin lined up for Paco Guards. So they're not a concern. They're going to die real fast. But getting through Odin is going to require the Moonveil. And I want to get at least these checks done. Not Baronian, but the other checks. Um, what AoEs do I have? Uh, let's burn my Grimoire. Oh, that's really garbage. I'm gonna do nothing. No! Why did the remedy go off before I could get the shot in? Ugh. I didn't mean to bluff there either. I mean, we'll be fine. I don't- I need a back row cane. Yeah, we do need this pan. I mean, I don't need the pan, but I'm gonna grab the pan because it's right here. And if I happen to get underground, I'll probably just go for a 10 key item grind, because I think it is possible. We'll need to do a D-Machine grind before I finish the giant, because... Anyway, because Kainazo and Elements! But yeah, definitely gonna be happy I have a Zerker that's functional for that in Kane. Like, at least one functional Zerker is good. Do Fabul, because I'm not fading it. And we'll do our deals, and then... Oh, I need to stop by Silvera to buy Aethers. Yeah, so we'll stop by Silvera to buy Aethers. Um, back row you. Kane will now be able to hit fully from the back row, no problem. Thank you, Dwarf Axe. <sighs> okay. This will get my defensible objective done as well. No idea where Mom Bomb is. That's the one concern that I have. Come on. Boom.
fixing time. Double check that. Okay. <laughs> the Fate March is inverted. Bomb Bomb can only be at the Ogo spot on the moon. Okay, that's good to know. Baron Basement, uh, Sealed Cave, uh, Dwarf Castle is unknown. Harp is unknown. Flagon spot is Val. Baron in guards. I don't know. I should peek that. Uh, there's value on ordeals, and there's value in demist, but and package, essentially. I just was going over the bosses. We know we got a lot of boss information actually. Mist cave, dwarf castle ordeals. You know checks that I want to do anyway. Dwarf castle and ordeals are definitely high value checks. Package boss is kind of a rude spot for mom bomb to hide. Thank you for not direct- Oh, you butt. You killed Palum. I don't like that. I really don't like that, actually. I really don't like Palum dying. Palum needs experience. Pain dying is slightly more acceptable, but still not really great. Uh, life pots are somewhere. You know, this is just going to be a battle of attrition that I'm not going to win. Palum is very unacceptable. Palum absolutely needs to survive. Uh, we'll just put a veil up. Veil. Burning a veil here, that feels rough, but I'm not going to have to fight Wyvern, so it's fine. I want Kane to get levels. I need to figure out where life pots are. They're somewhere. Okay. Where were the life pots? Uh, Troya shops. Okay. Troya item. Or cafe. Cool. They are available though. That's good. I don't really care about leveling Edward a lot, because we're probably not going to worry about the spoon. It's an extra moon but It would be an extra moon boss, which could be Mom Bomb. I don't know. That's the one spot where Mom Bomb can be hiding on the moon. But that's the only spot I need to peek for Mom Bomb on the moon. Otherwise, it's just go to the uh, Crystal Sword Altar. Because that's value, and uh, one of the other altars has value. Yes. I need Thor Ages. I will need those. I know where Kainazo is. Oh, we can totally, like... Oh, right. I can, like, Thunderstruck Odin. Odin's easy. This hook route is free. I could go down it whatever I want. That's a thought. Not the castle. I'm gonna pick up some life pots real quick. I also need to pick up ethers. Not here. Not this shop. I mean, I'll check this shop, but it's just like you buy. And also, Star Veils here. Those are very expensive. For my poor party. Uh, we can sell one of those Asura Summons. I'm not going to use this Heron Robe. I already know. I don't want that many. I know I'm not going to use the Heron Robe, so I may as well ditch it. But yeah, I can Moonveil, Edward, and then hide through... I need a Silk Web for that, actually. That might not be doable. Who ordeals? Because there could be value here. There also could be value in Mist Cave, so I gotta check that. Uh, we have defended for Ghoul now. So I'm not... I'm, ordeals first makes sense, because uh, we could just have our boss hunt here and be done. Uh, the spoiler log was nice enough to show me where Luge was, so I don't have to worry about that. It's at a, at a crystal sword altar, which already has a sand ruby that's required, so... You know. You're gonna have... Just... It's on the way to another objective. We'll, just, we'll get that done. I do need to beat a Surah at Levy. 
That's a consideration. I wonder if I know where Runex, if there's a Runex that's like easy to find on the spoiler log. Oh, Runex in a trap chest in Lord Babel. Cool. This fight's really easy, I can just sit here. Yeah, we can probably grab that. Uh, it's fifth floor left. That's pretty high up. The only one I know about, though. I think I go for it. For Asura. I'd love to get through Odin without using my Moon Veil. That'd be really nice. Not sure it's feasible. But I'd love to do that. So we knew that boss was there. We don't know the other two bosses on this mountain. But we did know about DKC in advance. Okay, Baron Guards is kind of rude, but not the worst. Marking things. Golbez is gone. I'm saving that coffin. That coffin is very important for later. Um, hmm. Rude, but he's fine. You're not very good at hitting, at turning people into pigs. That doesn't matter. Rude. Not great. Okay, charmed that one. Primary procs basically are free hits. That's why I'm going for them. Oh, nice. Okay, good. Let's keep hitting things. Thank you, White Spear. Nice two. There we go. Okay, Palum has Virus. Excellent. We could actually leverage that and just sweep through the Gauntlet of Baron Inn to get a whole bunch of levels, but I don't want to. I do have to check the first boss in Baron Inn. I don't have to check the second boss because the second boss is the Gauntlet. Still trying to figure out what exactly I want to do for Odin. It's only 6,000 hit point Odin. But it's a very rude 6,000 HP Odin. It's going to be RA1. Like it's it's going to be RA1. Ordeals is a waste of time. I mean, the boss kills are cool because boss kills will help Fu down the line because I think I am taking Fu. And, like, Antlion is whatever. Like, oh no, Antlion. Not a boss I'm scared of. But also not a boss I needed. <sighs> I'm really not looking forward to this giant. I have to say. I think that's the thing I'm looking forward to the least, is the Giant of Babil. Because it is going to be awful. It is going to be an awful Giant of Babil. Because we are essentially doing a Giant of Babil with what Fu is our only white mage. That's Kenazo into Ogo. And that, that's not fun. I mean, I'll have a Sura on Rydia. Like, Rydia will be able to help. A little bit. With healing. But yeah, it's gonna be not fun. Okay. That's all the overworld stuff I need to check, actually. I mean, I need to peek a couple bosses while I'm up here, but I'm done getting, like... Done hitting bosses. Uh, thinking about strategy for Odin... Lit 2 is pretty potent. 
What's in this cave? Water hag, not required. Do I want to farm? Gosh, do I? Do I level grind? Do I go for the levels? Well, I guess I gotta. Uh, this mom bomb is super rude, but I gotta. Super rude, also very required. <sighs> Hopefully the protect rings keep me alive. This is a mom bomb into a gauntlet, by the way. But I have to do it because mom bomb is here. And thus ends the boss hunt. Yeah, that takes care of our boss hunts. That's good. The only hunt left is the earth crystal hunt. Yep, knew this was here. Don't have an AoE thing for you to do. Uh, throw the Boreas. The Dodge Palin. Trying to let make the character stay alive. Yeah, let's just wipe some things out. Uh, Levy of Asura is going to be a thing. For sure. Uh, Grimoire. Nice. Good roll. I didn't need the Leviathan right there, but it's a pretty good roll. Just to sweep another encounter. Continuing to power up my party. Don't need diet food. the wrong one. Uh, how are you going to retarget this cane? I mean, it doesn't matter. We have virus. I have virus. Alan and Kane are very solid early game characters. But the ultimate goal is going to be Demachine, so... Have them wipe out some enemies just to make Alum's life a little easier. Come on, Palum. Get that virus cast. Nice. Okay, one piranha down. Kane, can you one-shot the Aqua Worm? You can one-shot the Aqua Worm and get rid of it before it becomes a problem. Nice. Okay. Gauntlet is defeated. Because we had to. I'm not taking Tella. Because Fu is going to show up later. And I want Fu more than Tella. <laughs> right, this is a white spear. Okay. Cool, I'm going to sell that. That's a lot of money, actually, to fund illusions and stuff. Yeah, no. No, Tawa. You could be useful right now. You could be very useful for the hook route, but no. If I can get through Odin, then I can get the party I want. Which is going to be Fu from Dwarf Castle. And then... Uh... Rydia from Zot. Which I know is before Moon, because the Darkness Crystal comes from Zot directly. So it, I've got to get be able to have access to it before I go to the moon. Okay, that's the overworld done. 
Let's get underground. Illusions were in this shop. I'm gonna sell that white spear and probably the gun near I have as mmm. I might need that for Octo or Demist. Oh, I'll keep the gun near. We'll sell the white spear though. I don't need a second white spear. We're also not gonna see Cecil, so I'm gonna sell that. Pretty sure I'm not gonna use this poison axe. Let's just buy a stack of illusions. You know? Let's make this hook route not garbage. I don't usually spend money on illusions. But, I think this is a seed where I feel okay spending a bunch of money on illusions. Hmm. I do have to start thinking about knocking Edward down in fights. I don't really want him getting a lot of levels. Isn't there like a Bahamut orb in this chest? Is, the matter, is that worth it? Uh, without hourglasses? Probably not. Well, we won't go for it. Uh, Palom doesn't have Quake, but it's okay. He'll learn it from the uh, Kaipo guards that I'm going to run into. Guaranteed. I forgot to pick up my ethers. That's fine. I don't need them until I go to there. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm going to skip the Mad Ogres. They do have a Bahamut Orb in them, but I don't think it's really worth it if I'm just going to grind Rydia. If Rydia is going to join super late and then I'm going to take her to Nuke. I'm going to sling her up to Nuke. But for Rydia, we'll need a 6 plus 6. How much will I need for Halum? Halum usually needs like a 9 plus 9 ish. So we'll probably need to do a 9 plus 9, which is fine. Or I could not get Palom Nuke and have him just get it off of the giant bosses, which might be the play. Uh, I need to equip properly. We're not going to go for you. I'm going to protect there. Uh, take this Artie Bow off. That's going to cause a lot of problems. Uh, we'll give you the glass hat. Illusion up. Actually, I'm gonna just go, just go for wit two from you. You are going to pop an illusion. Or not. That is very death very fast. That's nowhere near enough damage. I mean, this spot... Yeah, no, this spot has enough magic that that's gonna hurt. Not a ton of magic, but it's enough. Uh, let's see what I can do about this. Wait, two's not enough. I mean, I know I need to be slow anchored here. Like, fast anchoring this is just a disaster waiting to happen. So much easier with a source of berserk. Could just zerk cane up. I think the glass hat on Palom is the way to go. I think. Might be a maybe I should throw it on Kane. Glass hat's not helping him. Okay. He, he's not getting the glass hat. The glass hat does not matter for Palin. Oh, he didn't have it. Uh, yeah, let's try that again with, an, with a glass hat equipped. Well, maybe you don't take all that damage. I 
I mean, I knew this hook route was going to be kind of a bottleneck point, and if I can just... Like, Odin is the hard part of this. Uh, the Kaipo guards are not going to be difficult. Okay, illusion. So if I can get to... Oh gosh, okay. Bump is not really ideal. That's a better Lit 2 roll. We need to go for Virus here because Lit 2 is not going to fire again. Virus should still do a good thousand or so damage. 1300. If I can just get another Virus off, we're through. Yeah, we're through. Okay. One lit two plus two viruses, we're done. Odin destroyed. And then, up next, not that. Is this scary at all? No. No, it's not. I've got a coffin. The reason I've been saving my coffin. My one coffin that I started with. I'm going to keep knocking Edward down for now, because I do want to kind of leave Edward as an anchor. They're going to take a while to knock themselves out, so we're going to have to help them out a bit with some viruses. And I may as well do some life glitching with them. Oh, you have a lot of hit points. Okay. You guys have a lot of hit points. How much is that virus? That's enough for that back one. Take a swing. You want to life glitch you? Let's try to get a little extra experience out of this. Okay, there we go. 40,000 experience will help us out a bit. Quake Drain. And gets a whole bunch of levels. There we go, that's that done. Hook route done. It's a fairly rude hook route, but it's done. And yeah, our only overworld cannons were the hook, the pan, and the pass. I know what this tower boss is. Why am I peeking at it? It's Demist. Uh, that Demist is not required. But I'm not going to be taking it. Uh, Leviathan Spot might be required. I don't know. Or, a Sura Spot. I know Leviathan Spot is. We should do Dwarf Castle first, because that'll get me Fu. And Fu is just good. Oh, there, there's already a forfeit. Well, this is fine. Dwarf Castle gets me a pink tail. That's actually not bad. I'll take that. Yeah, that's a good reward. In addition to the foo. Obviously, I want foo. But it's... I'm gonna get a free pink tail for my efforts. Heck yeah, I'm doing it. May as well take the extra key item. And the extra, like, good item. Are adamants on? No. Okay. That's fine. It would be like a Goon Lance or an Avenger. An Avenger would be really nice. Uh, we actually don't want you slow anchored anymore. I mean, this really is going to thrust me pretty hard into the Fey March. 
Uh, the only other, the only options for the Earth Crystal at this point are oh, hi King Queen Evelyn, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, the only options for the Earth Crystal location are Shiva Two, and I think Shiva Two, maybe Shiva One is open as well. But it's a Shiva check. Uh, what is the Sylph Bone? Oh, we don't know what the Sylph slot is. Okay, it Magma's at Shiva 1. I don't know what either pan item is. So there's the pan, and there's the Asura spot, which is Leviathan. And Asura is at the Leviathan spot. It's great. Oh, I hit my mic. Oops. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's great. We're dealing with... An inverted French, a French vanilla fame arch, basically. I'm just gonna sit here and let this happen. Uh, actually, I'm gonna dance and dagger you real quick because you need to go down. Don't want to keep Edward low. I don't want Edward to get levels. Edward is going to be my floor anchor. Kane and Palom need to get levels because I'm not slingshotting them, and I want Palom to get to nuke, and I want Kane to be functional in the late game. There's Palom's warp. Warp glitch is not on, but you know he learned it. This will give me a Fusoya, who I will allow into the party. You know, as the only person with, like, Berserk that's available before Moon. Other than Tella. Rosa and Porum are both gated by Moon slash Giant, so they're kind of off limits. Which is, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's whatever. We'll deal with it. Who has already got most of his, almost all of his spells? We'll get to, we'll be able to get to Weak for sure before it becomes relevant. He's already got weak, actually. So yeah, we already got weak, so we're, we can do a D-Machine grind whenever. This Dark Elf. I mean, I don't, I'm not on a boss hunt anymore, which is very nice. Not being on a boss hunt is good. It's just an Earth Crystal hunt, really. Because at that point, I know how the rest of the seed plays out. I do need to beat the Levy spot which is a pull towards Fame Arch. But the Earth Crystal gets me Darkness for Giant of Babel, as well as Baron Key, which leads to Rat Tail on one of the altars, and Sandra be on another altar with Dr. Luge there. So Darkness gets me everything else. It's gonna be Pink Tail, which is only my fourth key, only my third key item is. This is my third, Earth Crystal would be my fourth. Like, it's going to be very hard to get to 10, so I'm probably just not going to bother. Uh, camping gear's on the moon. I know that. You have more Thor Rages if I needed more. I don't. Uh, Fusoya does join Neki, which is a little annoying, but it's fine. I don't need Mage Gear. Mage Gear is optional. Tower key's on the moon, so we're not going to get that. Keyless tower is annoying, so we won't do that. It's like a Luka, at least to a Luka key to a legend sword, like, not worth it. It's two key items, but it's not worth it. We're going to do these checks. Uh, there's two checks here that could be an earth crystal along the pan. They march freebies is onk, so I'm not going, I'm not even going to go down there. Yeah. Because ideally, I get my Darkness Crystal without going to the Fame Arch, and then I can do my grind before I touch the Fame Arch bosses. Which, at, this, at that point, I'd only need the Asura spot. Or the Asura at Lavi spot. I wouldn't need to do the Asura spot. Because the Earth Crystal is the only unknown key item. It's the only wild card. And the only reason I know I need it is because I know I need it for Darkness. And every from there, I have everything. I mean, Zeus Gauntlets are great if I'm going to get a Zonk. Didn't know what that would be. 
So that's one of those checks down. Uh, the Shiwa 2 check is also a wild card. I know Shiwa 1 is the magma key. So, I mean, we will go ahead and pick that up, because whatever. Extra key item, I guess. It's not going to matter a lot, but it's one more point towards 10. Not that I'm going to hit 10 with the bosses that I have to face on the moon. Because I have to do Dr. Luke Crystal Sword Altar, I have to do one other boss at like... Where is that other boss? Gosh. Uh, it's one of the bottom altars. It's not the Murrah Altar, I know. One, it's either Ribbon Room or White Spear, I think. I, I, can, I need to double check that before I go. Let's do that now, actually. White Spear's package, so it's got to be Ribbon. Oh no, it's Cape Bahamut. Right. It's Cape Bahamut. That's the item that I'm thinking of. There's our Earth Crystal. Okay. That is sort of go mode. That is pseudo go mode. Basically go mode. We'll take it. I will take essentially go mode. Oh, I'm gonna swap airships for this, because we need to come back here with the pass and we need to do the harp anyway. Let's swap. Swap airships. But oh, we're in go mode now. Now it's just hopefully all I can execute all these fights correctly. And we get to see if I can execute all of the fights correctly. Yay! Yay, executing fights correctly. But yeah, like, half the characters are gated by the moon here. I mean, Edge is on the moon, but I, fe I feel like I don't have Edge weapons and Exceed gave me a Kane weapon. So I'm just gonna run with Kane. Uh, Treasury could be good. There could be some mage gear in there. We'll take a look. You know, only having a charm rod. A single charm rod. I mean, I have a Lilith rod too for... on Fu, but... Because he starts with one, but... The Lilith rod on Fu is actually really nice. Um, I think Radio or himself. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm gonna drop very good. Black shirt's very good as well. Free rune axe. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Free rune axe. That'll be amazing for Asura, because Asura is required. Oh heck yeah. Okay, black shirt is going on Palin. For now. This palum's useful. Let's do Zot, because I know that Zot is required. Um, debating how much I want to like hunt down other mage gear, I'm honestly not feeling it. Uh, oh, I need to equip Kane properly too. I picked up a black belt for you, you can have that. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Let's get through Zot. Odin was definitely a boss that existed. At the King-Queen spot. That was very much a thing. But yeah, I think we're basically through the seed. It's kind of rough doing the D-Machine so late, but I don't think there's a better grind. I just don't think there's a better grind, or a better party I could take. really. Because everyone is so late. Everyone else in the skit in the seat is so late. I mean, I could have run two canes, but like, that's it. Uh, Ruby, slight regret, not bo Oh no, it's elements, not Ruby. Never mind, no regrets. Nuke. 
I have access to nuke. And I'm not afraid to use it. I think I know where Wyvern is. And I think I know Wyvern is not required. Yeah, Wyvern's at White Spear. Wyvern's not here. That's the only that's the important thing, is Wyvern is not here. There's our final character! We found her! It's Rydia. She's gonna be my final character. I will have to I am gonna be knocking her down because I want to like slingshot her. But this is my final character that I will be taking along. Unless there's like another Palum here. But no, it's Sid. Sid Sid can go get out. We're gonna take Rydia. Sid is going to go. I think I've got a party. You do know self. Oh, that's really good. Okay. That's gonna be really good for my D-Machine. Uh, we'll need to get her a, just a couple of levels. Probably not this spot, necessarily, but a couple of levels. Yeah, she could probably get the levels from this spot, uh, if it wasn't Feigen. I'm not gonna put effort into keeping her alive. Feigen's kind of rude. But yeah, Rydia comes with Sylph already, so... That's really good. Sylph is just really nice for the D-Machine grind. It basically takes care of healing, other than for Fu. I may need to toss some pots, some healing items on Fu, but it should take care of healing everyone else. And she can cast, and Sylph Glitch is on. I really hope self glitch is on, and I didn't... I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, okay, wife self back row. Yeah, self glitch is on. Okay. So I can totally self my way through the gauntlet. This will be darkness. There we go, that's our moon access. There's our way to... or through our D-Machine. I now have access to my D-Machine. I have a few things to do after this, but... That's eight. That's one E. Okay, we'll take it. We need the steam machine not to go south, though. We need these levels on Rydia. They're very important. It's one E, so I need to take one more. There we go. I'm gonna take a nap before I get the D machine started. That level is fine. Rydia is allowed to get that. Okay. We have set up a manip. I want a 9 plus 9. This is where ethers are. Uh, let's pop the Soma Drop. Pop this Asura Summon, because I know I'll need that. Or I know I will want it. I should say, I don't necessarily need it, but I want it. Soma Drop there. I don't. I already have Leviathan, so I don't need to pop that. Uh, Pop, pop, pop protect rings on you two. That seems important. Uh, just reduce some damage. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Tons of ethers, just in case. Uh, I'm going to want to buy cabins. Definitely. I'm going to want to go to the moon to buy cabins before I actually go to the giant. I'll probably buy cabins on the moon, heal up, do all that, save there.
just to make sure I don't have to do all of this random other stuff again. In case I wipe, you know. I don't want the- if I wipe to a D- if I do a D-money wipe, I don't want it to be ridiculously punishing. I'd like it to be, like, sort of... sort of redeemable. The hour in D money does not feel great. But we did have to do that hook route. Yeah. Let's head to the moon where the cabins are, because I want camping gear for the giant. Because we're going to do D machine, and then we're going to clear the giant. And then clear, just tear through the moon spots that we need to do, which is uh, Cave Bahamut and Crystal Sword Altar. I don't need to touch anything else. I only need Cave Bahamut and the Crystal Sword Altar after the grind, and then Clear Baron Castle. And then it's very straightforward from there. Yeah, that accounts- and then we go to the levy, levy spot at the end. Yeah, then we go to the levy spot and it's all good. And do harp. Take a quick nap, then we'll go into the giant. Uh, it's 1E, which means I'm going to the Elements Room. Make sure I remember that. And don't try to get the encounter in the save room, it will be the wrong encounter. I do have to complete the Giant of Battle, but it's an objective. The Giant is an objective, so I'm very incentivized to just do the Steam Machine grind. I need to swap who into the middle. Oh yeah, I need to do that. And I need to do some party rearranging. Oh gosh, I need to put Fu in the middle. For weak accuracy. Um, how is the rest of my party? It's probably fine. I mean, I probably want Kane up top. And Palum, Edward, Rydia. No, Rydia needs to kill the D-Machines. She should be in the bottom slot. Or top slot, actually. Yeah, Rydia should be in the top slot. Probably do that for now. I think I start the fight with the Artie Bow equipped on her. Make her not ridiculously slow? Yeah. Uh, Cursed Ring is not equipped, just double checking. I guess if this fails, I just do the Engiant Manip, honestly. Probably faster. Yeah, I'll pull that up and do that. If this, if this Minip fails. But the only thing that'll ruin a more Manip is taking an encounter, like a, a random encounter, or resetting, so... I should be safe. I know it's King Nazo at Elements, which is, you know, a thing. Overwrote my save that was right outside, it's fine. Everything's fine. Just don't... just don't fail at everything. I need to make sure Edward stays down at the end of this grind, too. Uh, we'll open this up, actually, with a... Uh... Alright, let's get this off. Put the Lilith Rod on for maximum healing. Throw a Quake. Carry through people's turns. Get back to Fu. Oh gosh, yeah, right. Kane is going to take the most at 200 damage-ish. I 
That's fine. Palom got skipped, but that's okay. Can't use my Thor Regis on this. Uh, that's one plus one. We're going for nine plus nine here. Shouldn't need a lot of ethers for this. That's two. I think 9 plus 9 will be fine. Charm Rod, actually. Just to try to get you to do a little bit more with your Sylphs. Because those are my healing. It's four down. Oh. Edward, throw the life pot. Four, destroyed. Good. Throw an ether to you. Be five. Fifth one. Probably want ten plus ten. This is six. I'm trying to think. Yeah, ten plus ten is safe. Do that. That's six down. Just take your white spear back. You'll we're never gonna my turn order is not gonna get thrown off. Let's just you toss another ether to Foo, because we'll need another one at some point. We need it at some point, may as well throw it now. That was six, so this is number seven.
Okay. Seven D machines destroyed. With life glitches. machine we just don't do anything at this point nine we have enough weeks for nine ten and the searcher we'll do that is nine Final D machine. Oh, gosh. Yay, D machines. That should be enough to get Radio Nuke and Palom Nuke, I hope. Go down, Edward. Edward's my anchor. Last week cast, we're not gonna do Radio here. Okay. E machine done. Eight levels for you. Fifty-two levels for Rydia. Yeah, Rydia's doing well. Rydia's up in the upper fifties now. She should be fine. There's Nuke. Twenty-two levels for Palin. I, he was already well into the. He was already in like the low thirties, so that should be enough for him for Nuke. Yeah, he's got Nuke now. Kane gets 21 levels as well. Counter's off. Party rearrange. Uh, we want Kane up top. For sure. Yeah. I think this is a good party order. Grab a with Rod Palin. Making sure everyone's like equipped somewhat properly. I mean, this is probably the best stuff I got. Yeah, this is the best stuff I got, I think. The goal is to get Kane zerked and then not have to deal with stuff. We'll have a save outside the giant, that's all that matters. But we do have to go through this. This is required. And this is why I got Nuke. Perfect. Okay, good. Now we're gonna Zerk Kane. That's the first priority, is Zerk Kane. Sorry about that flashing. Jeez. 2,000 damage, though. Really? That was too... 
I'm surprised that that was too late. Did not expect that to be too late. Okay, gotta go earlier. That's fine. Uh, I think I saved with everything set up properly. I was not expecting that to be too late. don't like missing that. That's fine. Uh, Rydia will just go into nukes with you. Who's already got something queued? Nuke. Means we gotta time things a little bit. That's okay. Take care of that right now. Rydia, start eliminating a bunch of hit points, please. Okay, gotta start throwing things. Okay, we're good. Because that Thor Rage is definitely gonna fire. Uh, Fu needs to protect himself. Over Zer I would like Kane Zerk, but Fu is like dead. You know what, I really would like King Zerked, because that would just be make things a lot easier on the, like, not using characters thing. Now let's get that illusion put up as well. Just protect Rydia from death. Uh, should be fine here. Kane is now buffering, is the important thing, and we're doing a lot of damage with these nukes. Well, I can chew the Thor Rage now, and Kane will buffer it out. That's why I zerked Kane. That is the entire reason I got Kane zerked. Not so much for damage. Damage is cool too, but mostly turn buffering. Uh, Palom's very safe with his glass hat. Rydia is safe with the illusion. Uh, if I could blink Fu, that would be cool. Okay, I've got a chance. Let's protect Fu. Okay. You know, probably sit on Rydia's turn. Have Rydia prep it. Okay, no, he's in the shell. We're fine. Damage. Just go for damage. Who's blinking himself, which is not really relevant at this point, but that's okay. Thank you, Kane, for trying. I should do spell rearranging. That would help. Let's do that after this fight. Okay, Nazo down. Ironically, possibly the... I mean, that's the harder fight, probably, but, like, the second fight is not going to be much easier. The second fight here is not going to be a lot easier. Although it is very nice to have that fight just done. Okay, cabin. Let's fully heal. Because the second fight is Ogopogo. Which, with a mage party, is slightly complicated. I'm just gonna keep. Uh, I want. I'm gonna put Fu in the back row. For the insta heal. And then we're gonna be spamming illusions. I'm gonna be spamming illusions like no one's business. This is what my illusions are for. Actually, Moonveil might go- I think Moonveil is probably worth using here. Yeah, Moonveil Fu, Veil Veil, Asura. I like that. Not Veil Veil, Illusion Illusion.
Oh, Moon Veil Fu. We're gonna put Blinks up on Palom and Kane. Illusion. Illusion. The wall is important as well. Okay, fine. Asura. Whose job will be to blink Rodia when she gets a turn? Sura failed. Okay, that's fine. We have another chance. Blink Rydia. Start microwaving. Yeah, you're hopeless. Uh, I could probably maybe get you over, have gotten you over a quarter, but reflected spells. Perfectly fine. Uh, Sura, please. Uh, Kane's dead, but that's okay. Uh, we'll pop him back up. Asura is gonna heal everyone else to full. Thank you. Uh, actually, just go for life too. This is a double big wave, which is fine. Go for a life two on Kane to get him back up. That's what we'll need on him. Nuke. I don't trust double big waves. Still chewing away with Nuke. Uh, Kane's turn is going to be Veil. Vale. Or illusion, not veil. The self blink. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Really not what I wanted. Your turn can actually be nuke. As well. Uh, if Edward gets a lot of levels here, that could be bad, actually. Heck. Thank you, Asura, or Ogopogo. Oh my goodness, Ogopogo with the clutch punch on my anchor. Keep him down. Well, Palom does a lot of damage, because Palom was about to kill there. Okay. I'll take the random extra levels, sure. That is Ogo down and the giant done. I'm now ready to steamroll. It is steamroll time. Like, it's literally just steamroll through all of the remaining things I need to do, which is Cape Bahamut, Crystal Sword Altar, Baron Castle, and then Trade Rat Tail, Cure Fever, Cave Mag, and then Levy Spot. I need to do Levy Spot too. But we'll start with Moon. Gosh, this seed is a lot. There's just a lot to this seed. And at this point, I'm basically just smooth sailing from here on out. It's just go from point A to point B and blow things up. But my goodness, the amount of effort it took to get here. I do have a pink tail to turn in. I'll turn that in at some point. With the rat tail, I think. Uh, let's do some spell reeling. Let's just bring nuke to the top here. On my nuke casters. Because let's be honest, that's all they really are. They're just two people who can cast nuke that I have. For the sake of casting nuke. Because nuke is great. I just wanted big, big nuke go burr. You know? That's what the seed told me. It's like, here, you can have black mages. I'm like, okay. Well, I guess we're going using nuke. Lots of nuke. Oh, right, it's Magus Sisters here. Uh, I should swap to the Runex.
Their magic is not very scary here. Thank you. You are too kind. You are too kind, Cindy. Oh no. Anyway. Uh, Rydia's got Leviathan, so I guess I'll use that over Quake. Pain is very strong. Uh, Burrusk is very low. I don't like... I don't love that. Okay, Leviathan. Okay. Just Sandy now. Or just Cindy, rather. Rude. Pop her back up. Get the, experience, the full experience, the full 35,000 here. Not that it matters. It's not that far from doing the video. There's the Baron key that we need. We need that specifically because it leads to the Rat Tail. Okay, Bahamut, done. Okay, that's that step done. Next step in the process, Crystal Sword Altar. I need nothing else on this entire moon. It's just the Crystal Sword Altar. Honestly, this worked out really interestingly, like... The way this seed unfolded is just like, well, you know, the Earth Crystal's going to gate everything. Where is it? <laughs> Like, I think the Earth Crystal is, like, one of, I think, the only key item I didn't know the location of from the Spoiler Log. Maybe? Because it has a 60%, but it has two different categories. It's put across the two categories of key item locations and then all the quest rewards, which could also be key items. So between those two categories, I think, every other key item was represented in at least one of those. Edge, I don't care. Right, we found you. Now I am diving the moon. Just for the Crystal Sword Altar. And we get to chase the Baron Key. Turn in my Rat Tail. I'm I'll turn in the Pink Tail just to see what it is. I don't think I actually know what it gives. I think that one was redacted. I think that reward is redacted. Not sure. Really interesting. First me on land battle speed 3, I think I'm going to stay there at least for this next particular check and then I'm going to... Yeah, for this next boss I'll stay there and then I'll swap back to BS1 for the rest of the blue planet. I'll actually uncurse Eddie for the blue planet stuff. Until, well, until Asura. Asura I can probably do on BS1, honestly. Asura's not that bad. Boss, especially with illusions and... Yeah, with illusions and a uh, Runax cane, in which White Spear generally better. For this, I'm just gonna set cane going. Waken Leviathan. Luggage is going to be pretty standard. This is my Dr. Luge fight, by the way. I don't have a Silk Web, which is a little awkward. 
for the Z fight. Bye, Dark Muge. Bye, Balnab. I never got to finish casting her spell. Yeah, we can get the Berserk cast off before Dr. Luge does his thing on BS3. It's very nice. Kane's already angry. And Palom is going to microwave you. Seven, less than 7,000, Palom. What are you doing? Bye, Dr. Luge. There's our sand ruby. That is hard required. I needed that. Done with that section. Now I'm going to take care of my overworld objectives just in case on the off chance it happened to be like six out of seven. I missed some sort of like. Oh, actually, you don't have to do all the objectives, but I'm pretty sure we have to do all the objectives. But yeah, that's all I need from the moon. I think I will actually start with. Yeah, I'll start with the uh, tail. Not the tails. No, I start with Baron. Baron leads to the tails, so we gotta do that first. Don't think I need to heal. I think we're just good to go. Battle speed up. See if I can find Silkwebs in here real quick. There's one in Baron Castle, actually. Cave Magnus. Is probably easiest to get to. Oh, they're in Agard. Let's just go there. There are silkwebs for sale here. I never checked this shop. Let's go in here, buy a silkweb, because I'm going to need one. Rosaromus. Kind of important. You know, I forgot to look for it up earlier. Just make sure I have one in there. For when the time comes. Okay, that's taken care of. I'm gonna have three new casters plus white from Kane. Not that that's going to do a whole lot. I mean, my Z fight is definitely like free. Uh, let's uncurse you for now. I think there's a defense sword in here, actually. I want to say there's a defense sword in here. Yeah. May as well grab that. I'm not sure it's better than the White Spear at this point. I think it is. Still, I don't think Kane quite got that high level. That the White Spear is better. But we got the defense sword. Just figured may as well grab it. It's right there. Such an easy upgrade to grab. Not that it matters a whole lot, the White Spear is still plenty good. I'll leave, I'm honestly just going to leave the White Spear on, I think. Yeah, because I want to use it on Z. I want to, I want to White Spear Zeromus. Hi, Val. Oh no, you did... Kane only did 4,000 damage with that jump. Well, there we go. Cleaned up. I mean, these should be easy fights at this point. I'm just charging through Baron Castle to get my rat tail at this point. 
Then I can cure the fever, go turn in my tails. Uh, this is going to be not Wyvern, I know. I know it's not Wyvern, but we should be fine here. These Lunars. I think we do enough damage that it'll be fine. If not, that's what Quack is for. Here we go. Baron is done. This is where Rosa was hiding. You know, locked behind the Baron key that was on the moon. And poor him and the giant. No way I was getting either of those characters. Sorry. And now it's just kind of... Now we're just finishing everything up. Okay. Let's just turn things in. Run down to the Fame Arch, beat Asura to get the Twin Harp. And be good to go. There's our Rat Tail. We're out of Baron Castle. Sander, we then trade. I think. Yeah. Funny thing is, Cecil's here. You know. In case this was a character I thought could be relevant at this point. You had to be well, like, you had to do Deep Moon stuff to get this. I had to do Deep Moon stuff to get that Sand Ruby for Cecil. Like, no, Cecil, you're not joining. You're way too late. I don't care if there's probably a Crystal Sword in Eblin Castle. You are way too late to the party. Gosh, really? Ugh. Okay. Tails, it's time to trade both of them. I may as well trade both of them. I don't really care about trading the rat tail, but... I mean, the pink tail. That's... that's nice. I mean, it's not, like, amazing amazing, but it's nice. Okay, pink tail's useless. Cool. Still, though, considering we're going to Asura next. Yeah, Kane's gonna be ready to destroy Asura. And yeah, that's all I have to do now is Asura into. Asura into Magnus, into Go, into Zeromus. That's all it is. Asura at Levy. Specifically. Uh, okay. This is our first trip to the Fey March. I haven't been to the Fey March yet this seed. That's because I knew the freebie was junk. So why would I bother walking down here? Oh, welcome to the Fey March. We're just going to go right for the spot that I know I need to beat. Not even opening the Fame Arch freebie. <laughs> Hi, Scala. This race is almost done. We are... We, we hit Go Mode a while ago because it's a spoiler log race, and so, you know, we see... I knew where half the things were. And it was just find the Earth Crystal, and then that leads to everything else. But it's been fun times. Oh, I need to re-equip this. Ugh. 
Okay, so you you know what's happening. Okay. Um Get the Bruce Cup. We'll do a double veil with Palin. Go Kane go. Let's protect you. Knock yourself out, Edward. Or die. That works too. Dying works. Uh, protect you. Uh, we've already done too much damage for that to actually have healed. Which is great. Uh, I don't think we're going to go to wall on you, so uh, I guess... I mean, I guess we'll bounce the nuke, because I can. Or it do doesn't matter. Kane too strong. Kane too strong. Also, I think Radia just... I'm so happy. Did you see what spell Radia just learned? Radia learned how to do the media! Now I have to use it. I have to let Radio do the Meteo. <laughs> okay, Cave Magnus boss, you are so dead. I don't care that I'm not magnetized, it doesn't matter. No one has stone resistance, so we can just stone party. I love that Radio learned how to do Meteo at the last minute. I'm just so happy. So happy that this is the seed. This is the timeline that we're in in this seed. It's a spoiler rock race. I still way over leveled because uh, Kainazo at Elements being hard required was a thing. Which we, we saw in the spoiler log, so it was fine. I knew to D-Machine right before it. And slingshot my Rydia, but I had to get my non-slingshot Palum to nuke as well. So, you know, that took extra D-Machines. Oh no, we can't use metallic weapons. Whatever will I do if I can't use metallic weapons? The other best part of this seed is that Kane's gonna get to use the White Spear to help reflect strats on Zeromas. It's great. We're gonna get to have Kane help with reflect strats. Ah, this one. I know this one. It's Scarnet's theme. Or Dagger's theme, or whatever you want to call it. Her theme from FF9. Garnet's theme, yeah. I can't Meteor! <laughs> also, this that's the thing I'm upset about here. I can't Meteor this boss. I cannot do the Meteo.
And that was the only- that was the last chance to have Rydia do the Meteo. And it was Octomam! I'm so sad! It's like, I'm not gonna do the Meteo on Zeromis. I have a Reflect Party set up. Like, I don't want to do a Meteo on Zeromis. But anyway, we're going to take our party of four mages to Zeromis, and it'll be great. Four mages and an Edward, who is sleeping. Uh, battle speed three. I want Kane there. Who there is fine. Uh, actually, Palin can stay on the bottom. That works well. Make sure Edward still has his Cursed Ring. Good. I mean, we should be able to do this reasonably because Palom and R Rydia are so overleveled. Even if they have no gear, they should be fine. I have no gear. But I have a lot of levels. And I have three people who can cast Nuke. This should be enough. And I have a Silk Web. And I have Kane. Kane's here too. But yeah, we can... Crystal, Veil, Bluff web, start the nukes there. Both on Palom just to make sure he's really at the top, but he's going to be doing fine, I think. Make sure he's absolutely doing quad nines, because he can't do anything else with his first turn. Uh, bring out the white spear. Uh, start ale. Oh, hello. Nice little web. Now let me just bluff yourself real, real quick. There. Full web applied. Nice. Great targeting. Free damage. I like free damage. Even if it's not a lot of damage. More free dam- more damage. Edward, just- just don't. Look at Kane go! Kane can cast spells too! That's probably about 20k so far already. Twenty five K, I'll say. Because Kane did really only did like seventy seven thousand ish, but Kane and the reflected nuke did about the extra three K three K. Fine. We've done 25,000. Here's another nuke. 
Oof, 6,500, not good. Uh, I think I'll take a Fu turn to heal, just to top off. But I don't think we're going to quite get it before second Big Bang. And Fu nukes aren't worth that much. If I needed to heal Kane, I would use a Sarah, but I don't. Palum, of course, is the best nuke caster. Palum's the best. Palum is just the best. That's how Palum works. He just is superior. Okay. I mean, we're getting roughly 17, 18k around from the three. Oh, yeah, just throw that. Uh, I'm gonna assume we can all survive. I mean, Kane is guaranteed fine. Probably all survive here. If this big bang comes out. Just help out with your nuke. I know it's not a lot of damage, but it's something. There we go. Done. 149.51. Palum is... I mean, he's just such a good black mage. Bluff is so good, and his stats are better than Rydia's. Okay, Beldamus is down. I have won this race. Partially by virtue of it being like a three-person race. That uh, someone forfeited out of fairly early on because the hook route was rude. We had to get through an Odin at King Queen. That wasn't fun. Not for a poor three-person party that I had, because at that point it was just Edward, Palum, and Kane. Lucilla and Rydia didn't show up till later. I mean, you could have taken another a second Kane and a Tella, but like it's perma join. I wanted the Fusoya and the Rydia that I knew would would be would be showing up later. For reflect stuff. Hey, reflect stuff. <sighs> Time to finally catch up on all the things that have happened in Discord. Gosh, I looted three treasures too many, I'm sorry. I ruined it.
You know, the spoon was also just a little too far out of the way, being locked behind the tower key, which was way down here at the bottom of the moon. So yeah, I didn't want to deal with that. Legend sword behind the Luka key. I think the Luka key was top of tower. I think. So technically available before underground. Or before moon. I mean, not before underground, obviously. Deal with two with the goods. The like single item that we didn't know the location of. That was the single piece of the puzzle that was missing for this, to, for like the game, for the seed in the spoiler log. The single piece of go mode that was missing was the earth crystal location, which was down to like ordeals, a Sarah spot, or either of the uh, the Sylph Bonk, or the, or the, I should say the Yang Bonk, or the Shiva 2 check. And I skipped the Asura spot, because the Asura spot's slow. And would have been rude to do before the moon. Because it was Leviathan, and that's not pleasant. Yeah, we could keep up there. Here's our Twin Harp. Got Asura. I mean, at, Levi at the Asura, at Leviathan. This Fey March is so confusing. The two bosses just swapped places. But because it is Music Appreciation Club, I gotta do a music talk, and we gotta, like, listen to the music and stuff. You know? That's a thing I gotta do. So, I'm gonna put on the music while I go, like, pull this up, because I I didn't sequence this. This is on... I have to go download a MIDI file from the, the, the site. 